All right, guys, I hope you're all excited because today we're doing the preview sale for the annual Caleb Snow Live sale coming Saturday, June 1st. Now, the time is to be determined, so make sure to keep an eye out on my community page over on Instagram for when that drops. Before we begin, though, listen, guys, this is just going to be a preview, so don't claim things down in the comments. I'm not even going to share prices today. We're just going to be looking at all of the different things that are going to be in the sale, and I might look at my closet again and pick some more stuff before the sale, but this is going to be the bulk of what you're going to find during the live sale. Now, part of becoming a member bonus you get to see all of these things before they actually go up in the live sale and claim them early which last time i think we sold a couple of things in the discord before the live sale actually occurred so that was super exciting before we dive in though guys hey my name is caleb i post luxury and lifestyle related content when you ask, I love that about you, stay curious, every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want early access to these sale items, you know what to do, check out the membership. Link will also be down below. Now we're not gonna be doing these in any particular order. I have some contemporary, I have some very high-end luxury, and they're all quite honestly amazing. I mean, after all, they're all from my closet anyway, right? <laughs> so let's kick it off with a little bit of coach. So first up in the live sale, we're going to be coming across the Coach Bleaker Duffel in the color Wine. Now this is from that Bleaker collection, so it's gonna have that beautiful, rich vegetable tan dyed leather. And overall, she is in amazing condition. The interior is going to feature that Tattersall lining, which you all know is low key my absolute favorite. And what's nice about this style of bag, you can actually wear this two different ways. Well, a couple of different ways. So with this strap, you can either wear it shoulder, as I have it set up here, or if you want me to, I can switch it over to be a crossbody. So this strap just comes off. You can easily change it and wear it crossbody. And that is how I like to wear my bleaker duffel in the bottle green, which I'm sorry to say is not going to be in the sale. I paid way too much money for that bag. But this one is, why it's going in the sale, it's just, you know, I said it when I unboxed it, when I opened the box, it just like wasn't like, wow, over the moon love at first sight. So I took that as a sign, because as you all know, we are embarking on finally, the Chanel journey of 2024. I need to make some room and I wanna clear up some funds, so this bad boy is going in the sale. Now, is she perfect? No, not really. She does have a few marks, which of course will go much more into detail during the live sale for item number one or lot number one. A little bit of coach. Now to round out the coach offerings, I'm going to be putting up this wallet? card holder thing. If you all remember the story, I went in, this has been like the first time I've been in a coach store in a very long time, and I was still in my mind. Like I used to work for coach 2010s. I was in that kind of price range in my mind. I was expecting 60, 80 bucks. Turns out it was like 110 for this, but honestly, she's super cute. I think it's the color Canyon or Rust. I get the two confused. Whatever my kip isn't, that is what this is because it doesn't match. Love that for me. But this is done in the coated canvas. You have a little bit of that glove tan leather. Pocket here on the back, several card slots here on the interior, the zipped coin compartment, and plenty of space for cash, receipts, and tickets. This piece is super cute, but I have a lot of wallets in my collection, and that is a very big understatement. So I was like, you know what? This could go. I bought it for a bag that it doesn't even work for a match. Ergo, why do I need it? So my loss is your gain. Now let's switch things up a little bit and talk about some luxury designers. So next up, I have two pieces, well actually three pieces, four pieces from Balenciaga that I'm ready to part with. And that would be, first and foremost, the black envelope flap clutch. Now you guys know that originally I built my channel around Balenciaga, especially these older Moto style bags. And I have it here in the Noir with the giant gold hardware giant rose gold hardware, giant 21, giant 12, see I'm forgetting. I used to be a Balenciaga expert, not anymore. But this bag, you guys, is absolutely stunning. I used to have this in four different, five different colorways. I had a lot of these. I had the black, the yellow, the blue, the pink, and the purple, so I had five. It's a lot of, a lot of envelope clutches, but this clutch, you guys, is absolutely fabulous. And as you all know, Balenciaga has re-released the City Bag collections. So these are definitely coming back into style, not that they ever left because they are so classic, so chic, so timeless. But I have it in black, and I will also be offering it in the 2012 Blue Tropical with the giant rose gold hardware again. Both of these are near complete sets. You're gonna have the mirrors. This one comes with the original Balenciaga branded dust bag. This one is gonna come with a non-branded dust bag. But you guys, these are in phenomenal shape and I always get compliments when I carry these out. So make sure to check these out in the live sale. Now, these next two pieces are probably going to surprise you because they surprised me too a little bit. But I, I had to ask myself, I'm like, Caleb, how many cute little crossbodies do you need for the weekend? I mean, obviously quite a few, but this one I could let go. This is the Balenciaga 
Gucci Hacker Project. This was one of the eponymous collabs and quite frankly, in my humble opinion, the best one of them all. I have the small camera bag here. This is gonna be in mint condition. It's going to be a complete set. I have the box. I could even ship the shopping bag if you want it. Dust bag, I probably have the paperwork somewhere, 99% sure of that. And I also have the hourglass card holder from the Gucci side of the collection. So I'm kind of thinking I'm, I could sell both separate or I might be able to do like a little bit of a discount for both. Check it, check out my energy June 1st. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but these are definitely gonna go in the sale. I love them, they're amazing quality, they're they're beautiful, they're fabulous. They just aren't quite my aesthetic anymore. And like I said, I, I, I need some Chanel in my life. Please help me get some Chanel. Speaking of not quite my aesthetic anymore, need I say more? I can already feel it radiating off my face. This green is so bright so fun and it's going to take someone with a lot of personality and a really cool style to pull this off guys i love the medium telfar tote my biggest regret in life well i mean i can name a handful but one of my bigger regrets in life is not getting this in a more neutral color this size you guys perfection i personally love the shoulder straps they they meld beautifully on the body and it just holds the right amount of stuff without taking up too much room it's just again this color on me need i say more now, to be honest, this next bag kind of surprised me and it's gonna surprise you too. I've been toying with the idea of selling this one for a good minute. This one almost made it into the live sale last year. I saved it, probably carried it for another week, and then here we are again. Now, this bag is stunning, it is rare, and I'm going to kick myself for selling it, but it's the Givenchy Pandora in the sky blue colorway. Beautiful bright gold hardware, and it's... I'm, uh, I'm gonna kick myself, but it's time to let it go. Now, this bag, you guys, is done in that gorgeous Pepe leather that, that Givenchy was very famous for, especially with the Pandora. It's kind of like a smushed, crinkled leather. And in this colorway, it really gives the impression of denim, which as you all know, denim every spring, summer is a huge vibe. It also gives me kind of the impression with the lighter spots of like light on the water. I think this bag is absolutely fabulous. Iconically, it's just a single handle on the top here. It does come with a shoulder strap. Now, condition wise, overall, she is nearly flawless. However, this one panel, there does seem to be a little bit of color fading, which with these blues, especially from that era, is not uncommon, unfortunately. But overall, color is perfection. There is a small crack in the Pepe leather here on the strap. Yeah, very minor crack. It's not going through the leather. It's just where like the leather kind of like wrinkles and sticks up. Again, I'll show you close-ups in the live, but I just hope someone gives this bag a good home. It is one of my favorite bags. Okay, now let's shake things up a little bit and we're gonna be talking about some Dooney and Burke all weather leather. Now listen, I got a little cocky when I unboxed these things. I was like, hey, you know, y'all said in my, in my Dooney and Burke collection, I didn't have enough Dooney and Burke all weather leather. So I went out, bought a whole bunch and I'm ready to sell it again. Some of it I haven't even carried yet. So shame on me, lesson learned. I just need to stick to the Essex in bone and the Essex top handle and I think I'll be very happy. So these pieces, you guys, I have already rehabbed most of them. They're in beautiful shape. They're just ready for a new closet. So first up with the Dooney and Burke vintage pieces, we have the vintage bucket bag. This is the size large, you guys. And this is done in black with the British tan trim. I have completely rehabbed this bag. I've shined up the brass. I have completely, you know, I, the Caleb Snell Dooney and Burke cleaning method was applied to this bag and it is in phenomenal shape. Now, full disclosure, if you've smelled one vintage Dooney, you've kind of smelled them all. And this one could use another ozone treatment. So before I ship it off, I will do that for you. But guys, this bag is in immaculate condition. And because I love it so much, I will include a fashion file dust bag that fits it. As you can tell, there's literally nothing wrong with this bag. It's, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I have those sad sloping shoulders and this beautiful padded strap just does not stay on them. And it's a constant battle. At least it was with a coat. Now, for anyone else, I'm sure you wouldn't have this problem, but I just know that I will only struggle with this bag and, oh God, it's fabulous. Why am I doing this for Chanel? Focus, eye on the prize, I get it. This is gonna be in the live sale. Now, next up, this bag is so freaking cute and it is in mint condition and it still has the original white sticker on the inside. My Dooney collectors, you know what I'm talking about. This is the mini bucket bag. And oh, I should say all of these have the red, white, and blue tags still intact because I do not mess with cut tags. 
But this bag, you guys, she's adorable. She's cute. She is the moment. I didn't even really need to clean this one up or do anything to the brass. It literally arrived perfect. I could work on these tassels a little bit, but I'll let the next person do that. It can be worn on the shoulder. It can be worn crossbody unless you're six foot seven. Then it kind of lands here and it's a little awkward. It's not, not the vibe. I have the perfect Ralph Lauren American sweater cardigan. You've seen me wear it here a few times. I was like, this is going to be the perfect bag for 4th of July because you know, why not buy a vintage Dooney and Burke for only one day a year? Hi, I do that kind of stuff. I don't know, it's just, it's not gonna work for me. And I know I, I, I'm gonna regret keeping it. So I'm gonna pass this along. Again, she's in nearly mint condition. So keep that in mind. The color is navy blue. And God, she's gorgeous. I just wish the strap was like 10 inches longer. That's all I need. So next up is a very rare bag in an incredibly rare colorway. And if you guys remember the story, you're gonna understand why this is in the sale. But this is the Essex Arrowhead and the chocolate with matching chocolate trim. Say that five times fast. So with the Arrowhead, it is basically the same as the Essex, which you all know is one of my top five favorite bags of all time. I I said what I said, save space. Except without the over under, we have the Arrowhead turn lock, which opens up to the interior of the bag, that beautiful rich chocolate suede. And don't worry, there's still an all weather leather patch on the back with the duck, also done in chocolate. Now, sadly enough, this bag has, she's seen some things. The body of the bag, perfection, could not get better, could not ask for more. The interior super clean. For some reason, the previous owner cut the strap. So what they did is, this is the original strap to the bag, this portion with the buckle. This portion which they cut, this is actually the darker trim, the burnt cedar, I think is what that trim's called. This is that colorway. So these are technically two different straps and they've been cut. So this is perfect for, for my shorter friends who might just wanna throw this on their shoulder. Excellent, perfect, love that for you. But for me, I'm six foot seven, I'm a tall guy, and the, I, I tried for months, well, for a few weeks anyway, to find the additional portion of this strap. I couldn't do it. So I'm not gonna sell this on with the false hope that yes, you, you can find a strap easily. You probably can't, you would have to settle for the burnt cedar, which as I, I'm looking at it does match pretty well, but I know it's, it's not the right match. Also, it's missing the duck fob. So missing the duck fob, altered strap, and a different strap color. So she's got some things going on with her. I'm just gonna try and ask what I paid because as you all know, chocolate on chocolate, especially in the Arrowhead, can fetch a pretty penny even if it's rough. This is a very collectible bag. Now, one final piece from Dooney and Burke is the very rare vintage French wallet. Now this piece, you guys, is in really good condition. You open it up to the interior, which is going to be that fabulous Dooney and Burke British tan trim on the interior. You do have a couple of bill slots back here in the back. And then of course this opens up and you can store some coins in there. Now, buyer beware. Although overall this is in perfect condition, it is in very good shape, very clean, no issues. Well, the man-made lining inside of the bill compartment and inside of the coin compartment, it's like that beaten night lining. It doesn't get sticky, but it does kind of crack and flake. I reached out to Dooney and Burke to see if they could actually swap this out, the linings, if you will. They cannot. So keep that in mind. It is still incredibly usable. In fact, I mean, I used it once or twice without any issue. I like to be very honest and upfront about any condition issues. So that is something to consider with this wallet, but these are a, hard to find, even harder to find in this condition. And I feel foolish for selling it, but I just know I bought it for that big bucket. If I don't use them together, it's a whole thing. This is in navy blue, the bucket is in black. All right, let's finish this up with a little bit of YSL. And again, these pieces are gonna surprise you, but like I said, I'm trying to look at my collection more mindfully, curate it down a little bit. I think curated is going to be the key word for 2024. And I'm working towards less items, but items that I truly want. And although I loved these pieces when I bought them, they just don't really have room in my collection in 2024. Now, first up, we have something incredibly rare from the house of YSL. And this is the large Uptown pouch. Now the regular Uptown pouch is probably about this big, this one is actually a usable size. It's done in a nice, smooth, shiny calf skin. Beautiful gold YSL hardware here on the front. You have that fabulous magnetic closure. And I carried this once for like a good few weeks straight and it can fit quite a bit in here. Now, overall, this is in perfect condition. I literally have not grabbed this probably since 2022, if I'm being honest, 2021. I purchased this actually from Selfridges. So this was a larger department store exclusive. I think here in the States, you could have ordered this through Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus. Those were both sold out by the time that I kind of 
took a shining to, to the YSL Uptown pouch. I had to get mine from Selfridges. Now I am the only owner. I purchased this directly from them and I, I should have a lot of the accoutrement that came with it. It will at least come with the original dust bag. I might have a box somewhere. Don't quote me on that. I'll figure it out though before the live sale. But if you're interested, this is a much more rare piece from YSL, especially the Uptown collection. They did not release this size in all boutiques and stores, so a little bit hard to come by. Now, next up, this one kind of hurts a little bit because I bought this brand new here in Chicagoland at the YSL Boutique. And at the time, this was my most expensive bag. And now the Kelly and then the Birkin and a few other things have kind of dethroned it from that. But this is the YSL Sade clutch and a beautiful quilted lambskin, black leather, gold hardware. So chic, so effortless, and I've probably carried it thrice in the three years that I've owned it. Now I'm thinking in my rationale, you're like, Caleb, but that's such a fabulous bag in black and quilting that that's a, that's eponymous with good style. You can use that forever. You're right, you're not wrong. But in my mind, if I have the quilted Chanel, I'm not gonna reach for the quilted YSL in, in my mind. Like I said, I've barely carried it anyway. So this is going to probably include the box. I have to find it. I can send you the shopping bag too if you want it. Dust bag, probably have the paperwork still in the zipper pocket. Yes, I do. Originally before tax, this was $16.50, so with 10% Illinois sales tax, probably paid like close to $18 for it, or just over $17. I don't know, math's not my strong suit. Leather lined, absolutely fabulous. Corners are in mint condition. I'm just ready to move on. You know, ready for something new, and that is Chanel. So there you have it. This is the preview, if you will to the upcoming live sale. Now, like I said, this is coming Saturday, June 1st, so it's gonna be a big deal. Mark your calendars, cancel your plans if you have any, because this only happens once or twice a year. Now, these are some iconic Caleb Snell pieces. I've just kind of changed aesthetically, and as a person, my taste has evolved, and I'm ready to try out some new stuff, and I'm, I'm loving my time with Hermes, but I think it's time. I, I need to dabble in a little bit of Chanel, and I have a couple on my wish list over at Fashion File and The Real Real that our big contenders. So these need to move. Help me out. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the live sale on June 1st. Until then, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.